All right, welcome. We're gonna do a uh, quick overview and then we'll get into the installation of this system that I've devised for the Ohmtech, eBay, Amazon, Chinese four-wheel rotary uh, system. So just covering the parts really quick, you've got your arm, this should already have the wheel attached, and then there, there is this bolt that will attach it to the uh, front base. Next, we have the front base. It's got a threaded insert for the, uh, the clamp. That'll be one of our last steps. This is the only bolt that you'll be using to install the whole device onto the machine. So very simple process and that you will want a five millimeter Allen wrench for that. And then the last piece is the rear base that just slips in place. It's got a threaded insert for the top arm on that and it's got a uh, small bolt that uh, requires a four millimeter Allen wrench for that. This is the only bolt that will fit through there. If you get them mixed up, this bolt will not fit through this hole. It's not gonna fit, so it's very easy to keep everything together. So let's start with the hardest part and that's going to be installing the base. And when I say hard, we're putting in one screw and one bolt. Now the first step is going to be to put the front base plate in the proper position. And this is done by using this bolt right here. So you can see you've got your stepper motor and your front drive wheels and then there's this bolt here that's connected to a tensioning block on the back. The cutout here on the front base plate was designed to fit right here. So you're simply going to slide this in place and that just holds it into the proper position. There's only one way that you can put that and it's just going to slide right in and now we'll move on to the next step. Now that we have the front base plate in the proper position, you're going to take this nut and bolt combo with the washer, just take off the bolt and we're just going to push that, we're going to push this right through that hole so that it pops out the front. Simple as that. Now we'll just put the bolt and the washer on the other side. Now that you have the bolt poked through, I'd recommend putting your finger back in there so you can have a little better control over this. Just simply slide on your washer and then slide on your bolt and then with your Allen wrench from the back side, just go ahead and start turning. And you can use needle nose pliers. It might be hard to get a wrench in here, but um, it really doesn't take a whole lot. And you're just, this doesn't have to be on there super, you know, super duper tight, but it's just gonna hold that base plate down and that's really all you need. That is the hardest part of this entire installation. Now the next thing we're going to do is install the arm. The arm simply slides right here. It's going to line up with the holes. You're going to take your long, it's a 6 by 50 millimeter bolt and washer. Just take those off. Doesn't matter which side. This is just going to simply slide through. So once you get that lined up, slide it through on one side, put on your washer, and then put on your bolt. This also uses, oh, this one actually uses a four millimeter on one side, but again, you can just finger tight is fine. You're not trying to, uh, you don't want to crack, crack the plastic, it's just a pivot point uh, for this. The final step on the front part is to put in your compression spring. Now this is pretty simple, it's actually the same uh, bolt that we used here, 
So it's a six millimeter bolt, 50 millimeters in length. It has the spring, uh, one or two springs on here, depending on my design. And then you'll see this piece here is just simply a straw that's been cut. That just provides, uh, it, keeps, it keeps it from binding all this metal on metal contact. It just makes everything move, move nice and smooth. So all you have to do for this, push this straight down, give it a little bit of a turn. Again, this can always be done by finger and this is going to put that downward pressure on the front. So you'll be able to uh, just kind of see what you feel is appropriate based on what you are putting into your rotary system. But that is all that is required for the front part of the system. Now let's move on to the back. Now for the rear part of the system, this couldn't be any easier. This has been specifically designed with all of the uh, necessary cutouts to work and to provide an extremely simple installation. All you have to do is line up. You'll see the smaller hole is going to go on this rod. The larger hole is going to go over on this side. And this just simply slides right on down. It's as simple as that. Once you have that in place, then you've got your arm, you've got one more bolt here. This just sits right on top. It's grooved on the bottom to move back and forth without the ability to uh, shift side to side. And again, finger tight is all you need initially. Once you put in a cup or a glass, then you can tighten this down just so this doesn't move in the middle. This does have a little bit of play and that's intentional. You don't want this whole system to be locked down so tight that it starts binding and keeping your media from being able to rotate once you put it in the device. The final thing you have to do is to get ready to burn. So go ahead and place whatever media is you'd like in your rotary. All you got to do is push on the back of the uh, front arm. Go ahead and push your glass all the way forward so that it is hitting on the base of the plastic here. That will keep it from being able to walk back or actually walk forward because the rear arm is going to prevent that. Then we're going to move the rear wheels into place and you want to have those obviously so that you have contact at the back and then we can loosen up this nut here, push this a little bit forward so that it's making contact and it'll keep things from moving back and forth and then you can either finger tighten that or if you want take your wrench, give that a little bit of a tweak to make sure that this doesn't move too much during your um, engrave and then you'll see everything is really locked down and so once your front drive wheels are moving then your front your front arm is going to, to give you that downforce to keep things from shifting during an engrave. And then your rear arm in co combination with this front piece here keeps your cup from being able to slide back and forth which causes a lot of problems and that's what this whole system has been designed to uh, prevent. So hopefully you found this installation uh, video very useful and this device will uh, help you improve in uh, your rotary adventure. So once again, thank you very much and uh, let's uh, keep on burning together.